Glad to have you join me for devotions for Tuesday, August 11th, 2020. Just when you thought I couldn't find another spot in the church to do my video from, I find another one. I even wander around the church and think, hmm, would that work as a good backdrop? And so here we are today in the lobby of the gym. Off to my right on the north side of the building is our gym. Off to the left are the double doors that go out into the parking lot off of Bethany Lane. And straight ahead of me is the meeting room, just to orient you a little bit. Office door is there with my office door around the corner. You can't see from here. But behind me is our uh, showcase of confirmation pictures. Going back, um, let's see, I'll take a quick peek. <clears throat> to 1959. Uh, going back, all the pastors are represented here who have served Gethsemane. Um, I even appear in the last uh, four on the bottom row there. And um, not every uh, confirmation picture is here. We did not, we don't we seem to be missing a few, especially from, hang on a second. Let's see, what would this be? Maybe the early 2000s. So if you were confirmed or you have a family member who was confirmed and um, you don't know if the picture's here and you have a picture, we would love to get a copy of that from you. So anyway, that's not what the devotions are about, but I wanted you to know about that. People, when they come to Gethsemane, especially if they come for a family gathering like a, a funeral, com another confirmation or a baptism, love to stop and look at these cases and find themselves and family members going all the way back. So let's uh, begin with a prayer and go from here. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God of all peoples, your arms reach out to embrace all those who call upon you. Teach us as disciples of your son to love the world with compassion and constancy, that your name may be known throughout the earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. So our reading today is from Psalm 67, and you know I'm going to find a way to make it connect with, um, with the... Uh, location here. But go ahead and listen with me. Listen as I read Psalm 67. It says, may God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us. That your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its increase. God, our God, has blessed us. May God continue to bless us. Let all the ends of the earth revere him. So that is Psalm 67. Uh, something to think about in that is, and I, like I said, I would pull it together here on this um, God is with us in all times and in all places. Now, I can just say that, and it doesn't mean much, but um, a lot of these people have already died. Certainly, many of their parents, their family members have died. Um, this is going back quite a few years, as I pointed out, and yet God is with all of them, and the pictures that aren't here yet, the confirmations yet to come, or anything else, the people yet to come, not only at Gethsemane, but everywhere, God is with them as well in the future past, future, present, here with us now in all times and all places, all people. So this, this psalm, which of course, coming from the Bible, it's got to be old, right? So it's old, been around a long time, and yet it calls on all of the people of the earth to praise God, to give thanks to God. And in that, it really means and says that all of the people, all people, no matter who they turn to, what they believe in, or if they believe in absolutely nothing, they really still are, we believe, they are still God's people and in God's care. God is with you and God loves you. That's a message for us and a very important message for us to share with others. We can look back in our histories. We can look forward to the future. We can go to any place in the world, and these are all people created by and loved by God. Good news, huh? I'll let you take another look at them here. And we'll continue with the prayers. Let us pray. 
We bring our prayers before you, dear Lord, and we thank you for. We pray for our concerns for this world and for our nation. We pray for the concerns of the communities in which we live. We pray for schools, teachers, staff people, families, students, as they go about the process of beginning the school year again in such a different situation. We lift our faith communities up to you in prayer. We pray for friends and families, for those dealing with difficulty and those celebrating with joy. We especially pray for Jane and David, for Arlene F., Susie, Andy, John, Litt, and Richard, the ministries of Woodburn Christian Children's Home and the Apple Tree Center in Kendallville. Be with us this day, Jesus, and help us in the following ways. And as you have taught us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Christ is with you. Thanks be to God. And of course, if you've got something you want to comment, but I, if you'd like to comment, I would love to hear from you, especially if you've got somebody here that you'd uh, like to point out. I know you can't see them from here, but... We'll take a closer look. And I know you're not going to spot a face from here, but when you're here at church, you can take a closer look. Who's up here that you remember and what do they mean to you? Or maybe it's you. All right. Hope you have a great day. Take care.